Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. All right. Hey, so y'all want to know who we are? Who you see yourself on that sign? Who do you see yourself at on the sign? Not that sign, this sign right here, the 12 tribes of Israel. You got Judah, the American blacks. So where is your father from? Numbers chapter one, verse 18. The book of Numbers chapter one and verse 18. One thing I want y'all to understand is that any question that y'all have, we are a Bible-based organization. We're gonna come out of the Bible and show you the answers that you look for in the Bible. That's We're not gonna right. make nothing up. We ain't gonna hustle you. We ain't gonna ask no money. We're gonna show you what the Bible say. Right. Right. If you believe in the Bible. If you don't believe in the Bible, maybe this ain't for you. But we're gonna show you what the Bible says. So according to the Holy Bible, you are who your father is. Because your father has the seed in him. Just like the woman is like the earth. Yeah, the man is like the seed. The man puts the seed into the woman, and offspring come about. Just like an orange seed. You can put an orange seed in the, the land in Florida, an orange is going to come out. You can put an orange seed in Georgia, it's still going to be an orange. Likewise, if a black man lay down with a black woman, that child is still who that father is. Even if a black man lays down with a Chinese woman, the child is still who that father is, based on the seed line. Now get that out the Bible. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Mm -hmm. And they declared their pedigrees. Your pedigree is your lineage, mm -hmm. like dogs. You got the pit bull pedigree, you got the Rottweiler pedigree, you got the Yorkie pedigree, you got so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Just like races of men. Black men, so-called pedigree, white man pedigree, Chinese man pedigree. You go on, on and on and on, your pedigree, your lineage. And they declared their pedigrees after their families uh -huh. by the house of their fathers. Your pedigree is determined by your father. So if your father is an American black man, guess who you are? The tribe of Judah. If your father is a black man from Chicago, more than likely you're from the tribe of Judah. If your father is a black man from Jamaica, you will be from the tribe of Benjamin. If your father's a Mexican man, you'll be from the tribe of Issachar. Bring it out. You are who your father is. You understand what I'm saying? So what else we got? So do you know who we are? The descendants of the slave trade, who are we? We are the, we are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Exactly. But us as a collective, us as a whole, we are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Give me that in Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. You know where the confusion comes in at? Because I see y'all see face, y'all like, I ain't never heard this before. And this is why. And I, we ain't laughing at y'all because I was in the same situation. I didn't know, but a brother just like me was teaching me. Just like I'm teaching you, read. The book of Hosea, chapter one and verse 10. Bring it out. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Can't count our nations, too many of us. Read. Which, shall, which cannot be measured nor numbered. See that you can't number all of us, it's too many of us. Read. And it shall come to pass. This is the prophecy. That's what separates this book from any other book. It's prophetic words. Meaning things that was written down a long time ago is gonna happen now and in the future. That's what makes this book so special. Read. That, in, that it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Here in America, we were said that we are not the people of God. We was told here in America that we are Negroes, we are African Americans, we are Haitian, we are Dominican. As a race, yes, that's happened, that happened. Give me that, um, give me that right there. Give me, give me the, um, hey, so give me that, the, the transatlantic slave trade. Come on. You see that? We the real Jews. So some of our people do know who we are. 
What that say right there? To be sold a cargo of Negroes. That's biblical prophecy. Read that again. In, in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. It was told us that we are not the people of God. They said that we are Negroes. They said that we are African. They said that we are everything outside of our God-given race. Read. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. In the same place where we were sold at and told that we are not the Israelites, God said that you're going to hear that you are the people of God. That's right. You are fulfilling this prophecy right now. That's prophetic. Read that again. Verse 10, the book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. The number of the children of who? Of Israel. That's who we are, the children of Israel. When you read Genesis chapter 10, you don't see African American in those breakdown of the nations. Bring it out. All the nations today are based on Greek names. When the white man came in, in, in rulership, he changed the names of the nations to make it easier for himself. The white man in the Bible is called Esau. Hey. Us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians in the Bible, we are the children of Israel. Right. The Chinese are the children of Moab. Right. The Japanese are the children of Ammon. Right. The Africans are the children of Ham. We know right. all the nations in the Bible are called different things in these, in these last days. That's why we confuse. We like, who? Who? Free? Yet, verse 10, yet the number of the children of Israel, Israel, that's who you are, shall be as the sand of the sea. We are the most populous nation on the face of the earth. Right. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. So much you can't measure us or number us. Read. And it shall come to pass mm -hmm. that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. They said that to us on the slave auction blocks when they right. said we got 30 Negroes for sale. Right. They didn't call us we have 30 Jews, 30 Israelites for sale. They said 30 Africans for sale. Negroes. Read. Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Right. Verse 11. See that there in America is going to be said that we are the sons of the, of the living God and the daughters of the living God. Right. That's who we are, but we right. don't believe it. Do you know why we don't believe it? Because we have been taught that we are nobody, we are African American, we nothing, we blacks. We criminals, we thugs, we savages. Our sisters all we've been taught that we are thoughts. You ain't no thought, you a sister. You ain't no savage. You a young brother. Bring it out. You an Israelite. You understand? We not gangsters. That's 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 not our heritage. We have been made to be gangsters. We have been made to be criminals. We have been made to be sodomites. Our sisters have been made to be thoughts here in America, but that's not who we are. We are greater than what we have become. But we don't believe that because we have not been taught that. Right. And that's what we come out here to do. Give me that in uh, Acts 3.19. This is the message. Acts 3.19, come on. This is the book of Acts. Chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore and be converted. We got to repent and be converted. Sisters, y'all understand that? Bible says we got to repent and be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. That our sins may be blotted out. Whatever sin we find ourselves in. Whatever. Whatever we doing wrong against God, there's a way to correct ourselves. Come on. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That time of refreshing. I want you to look around. This ain't finna be here forever. That's World right. War III is coming. Right. 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 This time they're gonna use nuclear weapons. Right. That's right. They used it in World War II against two Japanese cities. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they bombed those with nukes. And the World War III has prophesied that America and many, many other countries are gonna be destroyed by nuclear war. Right. You understand me? The way the, the way that, that a nuke is designed is not designed to stay in its castle forever. That's right. It's designed to be used. You understand me? Did y'all know that they got they got nukes right there on Lakeshore Drive? Right there by the lake, downtown. They got they got uh, silos. S a silo is where they hold the nuclear weapons. Just in case somebody shoots something over here, they can shoot back. But too, we too busy turning up. Right. We don't know nothing. We don't know about world history, and many of us really don't care. Give me that in 2 Peter's. Chapter 3 and verse 10. Uh -huh. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in
in the night. You see that a day, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Hmm. When them nukes come, you're not going to know. Just like right now in Iraq and um, in Iran and Israel, when people shoot projectiles and airstrikes, it be families walking through the parks. They don't know that an airstrike is coming right now. Likewise now, when this thing ends, we're not going to know it. Only those who are keeping God's laws is going to know it because it's in the That's prophecy right, to know right. it. But those y'all turning up, y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all don't care about world history. Y'all think that whatever you think rap music is real, you're going to be caught unawares, man. You're going to be caught off guard. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It will come. It's his That's will right. that it comes. The day of the Lord got to come. Do you know why the Lord is so angry with this country? This country enslaved his God, his chosen people. Right. You ain't finna enslave the sons and daughters of God, do all these things to him and expect nothing to happen to you. Right. He right. has to come back. Read. And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Why? That's the sound of them bombs, them boom. There's gonna be a lot of them. The heavens, meaning heavens is the rulership. The white man's rulership. Because just like we are in hell, he is in his heaven. Right. Look, 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 look at downtown. That is they heaven. Now, if you look back that way where we at, or out west, it's hell. We in hell right now, that's they heaven. That's they rule shit. Bring it up. Read. And the which, the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's biblical prophecy. The elements, all this right here that you see is going to melt with fervent heat. Right. You understand me? In 1992, you had the European powers, they came together and formed the European Union. Bring it out. The European Union and Russia is the only two countries or two nations that are strong enough to take America down. And that is prophecy, that they are going to find out all the evil that America is doing, and they're going to get tired of it, and they, God is going to put it in their heart to destroy this place. Hey. That's the prophecy. That's the prophecy. Read the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. See that the earth is going to be burnt up and the works that are in the earth is going to be burnt up. No more NFL, no more M uh, National Basketball Association, the National Hockey League, no more JP Morgan Chase Bank, Popeyes, BP, White Castle, no more rap music, thank God. Right. That's been infiltrated. Right. No more none of that. The earth and the works that are in the earth is going to be burnt up. Read. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. See that it's going to be dissolved by the heat. I want you, man, y'all got to research what these weapons are capable of doing, man. When they dropped them two bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know people melted as they stood on their feet? You know the scriptures say, give that in Zechariah. But hold on, because no, I want that in Peter about repentance. The Bible teaches that as a man soweth, that shall he reap. You cannot go across the seas and bomb nations and expect nations not to come back and bomb you back. Right. The God don't work like that. That's what you right. do to a man is going to be done to you. That's why a lot of these brothers be dying from gun violence, because they done gunned somebody else down. That's right. And sometime later, they get gunned down. Really, that's God doing it. You, whatever you do to somebody else is going to be done to you. Right. If right. you like to rob folks, you're going to get robbed. Right. One day, you're going to rob the wrong... Right brother or the wrong Mexican, they're going to kill you. Or you got to kill them and you got to go to jail. Whatever you do to somebody else is going to happen to you. That's how God works. Y'all call it karma. The Bible calls it you reap as you sow. It's called judgment. That's why it pays to be righteous. If you're not out here doing dirt, you really don't got nothing to worry about. But if you're out here doing evil, evil is going to pursue you. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.